as Phoenix moves in to have the second best odds to win the title right below Boston, um, who do you think's the biggest threat to contend against Phoenix making it out of the West? So I have been saying all week <laughs> to anybody who will listen and anybody who won't just like throw rotten tomatoes at me for saying it. I don't think the <laughs> Suns are, are like some clear cut favorite in the West. I think they are among the favorites. I think getting Kevin Durant, Clearly, you you have raised your ceiling by a ton. Just a and bit. <laughs> Durant and Booker and Chris Paul together, along with DeAndre Ayton, like that's a very formidable foursome. However, uh, I just think we're getting ahead of ourselves when we immediately crown a team the favorites when you pick up the superstar, especially when you're doing it at the time that they are, and especially given that that superstar has not played since early January and is not back yet until at least another week or two. Um He's going to Durant's going to have maybe 20, 22 games or something to get acclimated there. And for he and Booker and Chris Paul to kind of figure out their, you know, their, their distribution of, of, of usage rate and shots and passing and ball handling, all that. So there's that they gave up really important players to make the deal, obviously Mikhail Bridges and Cam Johnson. So you've lost a bunch of perimeter defense. It's not that easy to just backfill that even with the buyout market, even with, you know, picking up a Terrence Ross or whoever, like you're just not getting that depth back immediately. Um, Durant is hurt. As I mentioned, Durant has been getting hurt for long stretches every season since the Achilles and Chris Paul it's at true. his late stages misses a ton of games every season and both of them already have. So has Devin Booker. So you got to at least consider like some health concerns for them. Some, I don't know, not to say chemistry concerns, but chemistry work that just needs to be done to, to get acclimated in a very short period before they start the postseason. Um, and then there's just the fact that you got to respect what the Denver Nuggets have already been doing all season as a very cohesive group that's got continuity, that's been together for years, that has the two-time reigning MVP, who's now a favorite for a third MVP. You got to have respect for the Memphis Grizzlies. They've been it's been a little bumpy lately, but they'll get Stephen Adams back and they'll I think be fine. Um, the Clippers have revived themselves. I know people don't want to talk about the Clippers as, as a potential title contender because everybody's just kind of given up on them because of, of a rocky few years and they're never healthy. 